Hey everybody, what's going on? Superman Ryan here, and today we are back with another Dragon Ball Super review, and this is really awesome because we missed last week because there was no episode. Uh, but today, guys, what we're going to be reviewing is Dragon Ball Super, episode 59. And this is, I know I've said this the last like three episodes, but this is by far the best episode that I've seen in all of this entire arc, this entire series. It's been, it, I, it was amazing. It was amazing sorry about the other guys i'm going to church here in like an hour so that's why i'm dressed like this but you know what you'll live i'm gonna warn everybody right now there will be spoilers in this episode but there will be spoilers in this review of episode 59 of dragon ball super so if you've not seen dragon ball super episode 59 if you have not been keeping up with dragon ball super if you have not been keeping up specifically with the future trunks black goku arc uh click off the video now uh, if you don't want anything spoiled because there will be spoilers if you're okay with some minor spoilers stay on the video watch it till the end if you don't want big spoilers i will let you know in advance there is a big spoiler coming up uh, fast forward this far into the video to miss it okay and without further ado let's get started so this episode is pretty simple uh most of the episode was goku beer suisse and supreme kai were watching Zamasu and Gwasu. And they were watching Zamasu and Gwasu because we all know um, that Zamasu was planning to kill Gwasu to take the time ring to uh, go in the future, get the Dragon Balls, get the Super Dragon Balls, wish for himself to be immortal, and wish for uh, a fake Goku to be his counterpart, which is Black Goku. Uh, now, what we didn't know before this episode is that was actually confirmed. That was confirmed in this episode. That was Guasu's plan. They stated in the episode, Zamasu says, oh, you found out my plan. How you found out my plan? I don't know, but you found out my plan. So that is actually what was supposed to happen. So I'm gonna put an annotation or a card or something up here for a previous video of mine. Go check that out to see what my review, or not my review, what my theory was on Black Goku and Zamasu. Uh, and there was a little contest in there, so make sure you go check that out. Look at that contest and see if maybe you were right. At the very beginning of the episode, we see uh, the four Goku, Beerus, Whis, and Supreme Kai actually on Universe 10 Kai's, uh, Supreme Kai's planet, Gwasu's planet. And uh, they're asking for Zamasu. Zamasu comes, he's got new tea that Gwasu's never had before. And uh, Whis does something that I didn't expect. Whis gives Gawasu his own tea and some snacks from Earth. Um, and Gawasu eats it. It's wonderful, beautiful, whatever. Uh, they leave and they go just a little bit off into the distance. They don't go too far, just a little bit off into the distance and then they watch them. Now while all this is going down, Trunks, Future Trunks is back at Bulma's place and he's just kind of sulking and moping around because he had his ass whooped by Black Goku because he left Mai in the future by herself. Uh, and Kid Trunks does something really cool. You know, Kid Trunks goes up and he pretty much says, hey, we're going to fight. You know, quit being a pussy, quit moping around. We're going to fight. And I thought that it was really cool and it actually did cheer up Future Trunks and it got him kind of in the mood to go back. Um... Now we're gonna we're gonna go back to Goku Beerus Whis and Supreme Kai. Now they're they're watching Zamasu because they Beerus and Whis both said that they could feel his killing intent. They could sense his killing intent. They could feel it. And Supreme Kai, uh, Gowasu, and Goku could not sense it. But apparently, because Beerus is a god of destruction, Beerus is very sensitive to this stuff. And obviously, because Whis is his trainer, his mentor, uh, his or his. Uh, assistant I, I, he's very sensitive to this as well and then Guasu does it so Guasu goes he does his little psionic blade and he goes and he pretty much chops Guasu's head off but there's a catch if you remember back in revival of F uh, we can go back in time up to three seconds so after he does that we goes back in time and then they go um, so they see it happen, so they know the monster's gonna do it, so they know they're in the right for stopping it happening, or stopping it from happening. So Whis goes back in time, prevents it from happening, they go uh, to 
back to Kawasu and they stop it from happening. I mean, they save his life. I know there's going to be very, very big spoilers. And you know what? I think this video is probably going to end with these very big spoilers. So if you don't want to hear these very big spoilers, click off the video now. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know uh, what your theory of Goku Black was. Let me know what your theory of Zamasu was. Let me know if you were right. Let me know if this was all your theory and you were right. Let me know that down in the comment section below. But we're going to get into some serious big spoilers right now. So if you don't want to see this, if you don't want to hear these big, huge spoilers, click off the video now. Okay, ready, set, go. Now, Beerus kills Zamasu. And I mean like it's nothing. Like Zamasu gets his Sionic Blade and he actually goes after Goku. Tries to chop Goku and Beerus jumps in front of him, catches his arm, and he just says destroy. And Zamasu, he just like spontaneously combusts and he's just gone. Just evaporates. They talk to Gowasu, tell Gowasu, you know, whatever, he, this was his plan, yada, yada, and then they leave. Go back to Earth. And, and Trunks explains to, you know, when Trunks finds out that Beerus kills Zumasu, uh, Beerus tells Trunks, now your future should be fine, it should be better, uh, because I killed him here, then Black Goku never existed. None of this stuff in your future ever happened. Okay, and Trunks says, you know, well, you know, when I came back and killed the androids here and went back to my future, they were still there. It didn't change anything. And the beer says something that I never thought I would hear in the Dragon Ball, in the Dragon Ball series, in the Dragon Ball world, and something that I still don't really believe. I have, I have a hard time believing it. And that is, future Trunks' timeline didn't change when after the Cell Saga because humans did it, because Ningen did it, uh, and that's what created the alternate timeline. But because Beerus is a god and because Beerus changed the timeline, then the timeline across all timelines has changed because the history of all timelines has changed. So no matter what, Beerus is saying no matter what, because he killed Zumasu now, the present Zumasu, Zumasu does not exist in the future in any alternate timeline including Trunks's, which means that Black Goku doesn't exist, Zumasu doesn't exist, none of this stuff happened. It, future Trunks' timeline is changed, it's saved. That's what Beerus is saying. I don't believe that. I don't believe that simply because, one, that's a cop-out to the end of this arc, and would be horror, would ruin the arc for everybody if that's how it ended. It would really, I just... The battle was just over like that. I mean, he literally grabbed his hand, said destroy, and the dude evaporated. Just disappeared, was gone, dead. So I don't believe that everything's changed. I don't believe that everything's better. Uh, the one that's a cop out to the episode, or to the, the saga, the series, the arc. Uh, and two, if it's true, then why is Trunk still in the past? I mean, I, I understand time changing time and, and stuff like that is very very confusing uh, but I would think that if Beerus killed Zumasu the future Trunks would not be in the past because he never had a reason to go to the past but I don't know I don't know how that works and in the Dragon Ball Saga and the Dragon Ball series it's weird different I don't know uh, but I don't I don't think that that's going to be the end of it that can't be the end of it like I said guys that, that is the biggest cop out ever I mean that's that's almost as big of a cop out as just pressing the uh, the emergency button and having Zeno come down and kill him. That's almost as big of a cop out. There's no big huge battle. It was just done. You know what I mean? But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Let me know what you think for the future of Dragon Ball Super. And you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I know that this isn't the end of the arc because there have been leaked titles and descriptions for episodes uh, for the next couple of episodes and they're pertaining to this arc so I know that this isn't the end of the arc I don't know I'll have to do some more research to make a separate video about all that uh, but that's it for this video guys and as always if you're new to the channel make sure you like comment subscribe comment down below let me know what you thought of this review let me know what your thoughts and opinions of this episode are remember this is Dragon Ball Super episode 59 
Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are for the future of Dragon Ball Super, what you think is going to happen next. And uh, I will see you all in the next video on this Superman Ryan signing off. Bye, guys.